Okay, we have the, um, technically this is the first Sears Kenmore I ever paid for. for t I paid $10. Uh, nice cabinets. It's one of the smallest cabinets that is designed with wing nuts um, on the inside corners to actually disassemble so for easier um, transport. So I got this idea. I got the scenery and then the other treadle. What was it to the uh, 1813 or is it... Um, Oh, I forget. I don't remember. It was one I was going to pay 30 for. And I wound up getting for free with a nice cabinet. I kept that cabinet too. I kept this cabinet. But um, this is her. She's a smokier, I think, environment. I think it came from a smoker's. But um, said was working last they knew. Um, needed oiling. Um, young gal. Pretty gal too. Pretty young mom. Um, uh, was I gonna say, well, struggling then too. <laughs> Anyways, um, the when I when I powered this up, it was, it was going at first, and then it started slipping. I was like, oh, so I went ahead and disassembled everything, oiled. It seemed like it's moving okay, but I should have just went and oiled it, uh, cleaned it first. But um, yeah, she needed oiling on the underside. I went and found the manual. Found all the oil points. And now I'm going to go ahead and um, I guess I'm just going to leave it where it was at last, stitch-wise. Actually, I'm going to put this back. I think red's the not cams. So the, the not the, not the, that means off, I think. Um, other than if the zigzag, I suppose. But I'm going to go ahead and pause. Um, all threaded, picked up good. And now let's do some test stitches. So our first test stitches, and of course I should have read the manual because I'm kind of like, I think it's S for straight. Um, I didn't, I, I didn't end on zero. I went from six, the setting up top six to twelve, and then I did a reverse. So definitely reverse is working good. Um, but I don't know about the stitch length. I have to read, and I'm, I'm assuming that's the stitch length and that's the stitch um, width. So uh, straight now, and then I'd rotate. Um, since there's straight, yeah, there's no other um, stitch selection. So I'm going to go ahead and just try to do a straight stitch again range and see what happens. Yeah, this has a really tight stitch. That's I think that's just it. Six. Um, excuse me. The um, twelve. Six and then twelve again. Yeah, twelve. Then six. Yeah. And twelve. Like I don't I think it, it doesn't go any further. Now it goes to that zero position, but that doesn't move at all, it appears. So um that's what that does. And it went off in a wonky side. <laughs> I don't know what the you know, the money got caught underneath it. I had to move a little bit of thread, but it's kind of strange trying to do that. I should read. I should never just randomly do stuff like this. But it looks like tension's good. Maybe you could use a little more upper tension. I think what are we at, like six-ish? Nine-ish? Nine-ish. I mean, it's a little high. Um, eh, it's not too, if it's too high, to would be pulling up black. It's not. So it's good. Now I'm going to try some different stitches. I'm going to go ahead and see what uh, not, uh, Zigzag does. Not straight stitch. Okay, I thought I, I had set the stitch length wrong, and I, it looks about the same. I don't really notice, but I just just noticed that that S in the middle. I was switching to zigzag, and so I switched that to S, and then I just redid the um, six to twelve, six, eight, ten, twelve to um, back on six, and then some reverse. I press reverse a little bit. So, um, yeah, that's, it's just not that long a stitch length. So, six is longer, I think it's shorter down to 12. And back, I think it jumped right to six, somewhere in there. And yeah, somewhere in there. But, looks um, good on the back end. Tension's all good. Needle might not be the best for this material. Okay, now I'm gonna do stitch width. Okay, I read the manual real quick, and I was wondering why the stitches were so short. I forgot, I released the presser bar, so it made sense. Press that back down, and I don't know if that's still correct, though. I have to measure an inch if that's six 
per inch. It actually does look pretty close. So it's supposed to be six per inch. That's what that means. Um, that that uh, bars for sateen, it's the shortest stitch. I didn't, I didn't really read where it says zero, but... Um, so now, now, with the feed dogs being able to engage better the fabric... Any blue looks good. Yeah, tension's good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the zigzag stitch. Take two. <laughs> Just change my stitch width from one, then I'll go to four and back. Okay, uh, okay, so, uh, the zigzag function's not working. I'm getting, the only thing I'm getting is offset. Um, so, it's like one and then to four and back. <laughs> And it just kind of worked its way, just needle offsets, not, there's the camera, something's not moving right in there. So I'll have to figure out what the scoop is there. I'm going to try some other stitches just to see if that does anything. Uh, maybe it works free. Maybe I'll do the white setting and then see if it's uh, working. But it, does, it did seem when I was in there cleaning, I was kind of wondering about the cam stack. Uh, one of the, when I'd make the changes, it wasn't going anywhere. It was just staying on, wasn't switching over. So, um, yeah, it might be more of a, hopefully I don't have to disassemble and kind of get the ones I don't have to out of the way first and I'll go into the disassembly kind of in batch process. But I'll go ahead and switch around different stitch. I don't, I don't think that's correct, but that's the white setting. So, um, but it looks like it's doing more at least. <laughs> so it reverses. That cam, I guess, is engaging. Uh, it does look like there's some width. I guess, is that three wide? There's three wide. Maybe that is correct. Is it six? So I'm going to switch around and get some more pattern. Maybe I'll loosen stuff up. So definitely whatever does the width cam's not working. So I guess I'm just going to kind of give up. I think uh, I'm better off to just disassemble. Uh, not disassemble. Uh, well, I'll open back up again and see what's not loose in regards to the... Um, uh, boy, whatever it is, the cam that moves, um, the, the left, right action. So that's, that's not working. So I'm only getting offset with the width. I'm not getting, um, a back and forth oscillation. So, okay. <laughs> hey, it's progress. And this is, um, hopefully if it takes more work, if, like I said, disassembly, um, I'm just going to. Call it good. Um, like the Sooner 630, that's got to be opened back up again, too. This one opens up a lot quicker and easier, so I'm just going to, this just pops off. So I'll go ahead and work on this a little bit, powering off and unplugging first. I'm going to go ahead and stop. So be safe, take care, and uh, until next time, bye now.